This episode of TechZilla is sponsored by Domain.com. We talked about Chromecast last week. Google's new HDMI stick gonna let you connect and stream content straight to your HDTV. Part of what's amazing about it, $35. As of last week, you get like $21 in credit on Netflix. They sold out completely. They stopped the Netflix deal. Uh, but it's still a really exciting deal, even at $35. Revision 3's Director of Client Engineering. Dude, your title has morphed in amazing ways. Kevin Morgan, <laughs> joins us. How are you? You develop, I'm great. Are you glad that you, you pushed the Chromecast client? Yeah. It's exciting. Yes. And we should point yes. out, if you watch on an Xbox 360, a, a PlayStation 3, an iPhone, an Android device, uh, any of a number of television platforms, uh, Apple TV, Roku, um, you built those applications. Right. Are, are any of them easier to develop for than others? Um, I like developing in iOS and Android, mm -hmm. particularly. Uh, and, and, and let me guess, the more proprietary and weird the code gets, the less enjoyable it is as a wrangler of code. Yeah, makes sense. Not that Tricky, you would, yeah. yeah. He will never <laughs> talk smack about any of our partners, which is why you're the director and I'm, I'm lowly talent. But this is exciting. Talent. I mean, what's, <laughs> it's a four letter word. I mean, it's kind of funny. Chromecast is, is it's, 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 there's no remote. That's the kind of funniest thing right. about Chromecast. What do you use to control this, this gadget, this um, HDMI video player? Your device. Okay. The idea is you fling whatever's on your device, you cast it to the Chromecast device. Android, iOS, uh, Chrome browser, pretty Those much. Three. Oh, yep. That three. So basically, three. Android, iOS, and the Chrome browser. That's right. So what happens when I actually start to play something? Can you show us something in the sure, version sure. three app? Sure. So um, so let's take an episode of uh, Discovery Sharks. Okay. So now you'll see this new button here, this cast button in the top, that will only appear when this device is on the same Wi-Fi network as the cast key. Okay. So it basically talks over the Wi-Fi network. Uh, let's go ahead and start this up. I'm going to select the living room, which is the name of this device, and you'll see now the revision three app will start on the Chromecast device. Got it. And now we can cast this video to the device. And it looks really good. Yeah. It's kind of funny. What you're essentially doing is you are handing off, you're basically telling the Chromecast to play this video from this IP address on the internets. Uh, right. It's, yeah. it's kind of funny because you're not actually, you're not streaming the video, you're not rendering the video. On no, it's not actually or... rendering it to the device in real time, no. So we know it'll support, it, it's supposed to support uh, 5.1 audio if your video is encoded. Mm -hmm. I was laughing, we were talking earlier, I'm like, you know, can I, can I send like something to like five rooms in the house simultaneously? And you gave me this look like I have one stick. And they sold out <laughs> all the other they sticks. <laughs> they sold out almost during the event. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Will it support, um, well, it actually, I mean, does it support HTML5, well, Flash video? I mean, will it play any video you can get in the Chrome browser? Yeah, any video. I mean, if you have a video um, on a web page in mm -hmm. your Chrome browser, you can have that be on the TV. Oh, um, funny. But there are some things like our uh, Revision 3's web video player, for instance, has a custom integration that lets you have a special Revision 3 experience. Um, so you'll see here, when I pause the video, right. Um, there's this nice kind of Chrome, this Revision 3 Chrome around the window. Oh, funny. So yeah. there's like levels of customization you can do on this that, right. that may have not been available right. before. So you mind answering some questions we got from the sure. audience? Okay, sure. so Patrick tweets, at Veronica, at TechZell, I've read that you share your Chrome browser screen. Is it limited to Chrome browser? Can I share my desktop? It is, it is limited to Chrome browsers or mm -hmm. anybody that has a custom integration. So um, we've got custom integrations on iOS and Android as well as in right. Chrome. Um, but effectively, it's limited just to that Chrome tab. Oh, funny. So basically, I would launch the Revision 3 app on Android or iOS, right. and it will work with Chromecast. But in most cases, it's got to be something inside the Chrome browser on my desktop. Yeah, unless it's a special, con unless it's a special integration that's developed inside um, in Chrome, mm -hmm. then, yeah. Jason tweets at Veronica at TechZilla, are there any issues with the Chromecast getting power from the USB ports that are included on most TVs? Um, shouldn't be. Most, mm -hmm. uh, just needs a five volt power source. Basically 500 milliamps. It's not looking for like two amps like yeah. your iPad. No. Andrew tweets at Veronica at TechZilla, how do I play personal videos in Chrome as has been described in lots of articles? Doesn't work in Windows. Personal videos, like on your own computer? That's what it sounds like. Like my video, um, my video collection on my server at home. Right, right. Um, there may be a Chrome app that would let you do that, um, and I, I can see that coming soon. 
because um, it sounds like a great idea. Maybe I'll just do that on the side. Um, <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> so it's two dollars in the in the Play Store. Well, it's funny, right? Because it comes out of the box with Netflix, YouTube, and Google Play like video support and Revision Three. And Revision Three. Sorry. <laughs> the uh, but what, what I meant to say is like if you're buying video that's a DRM, like if you're buying, right. you know, what I mean, your, your Apple, your Apple video, your your, your Apple videos, your your DRM Apple video is not going to work. Your DRM right. video from a weird source isn't going to work unless there's a plug-in that plays that video in the Chrome browser. Right, right. Um, DRM video, I'm not sure. I think that would, again, you'd probably have to have a custom app for that. Sure. Um, but, but anything that um, is supported by Chrome's HTML5 video support, so H.264 and MP4, mm -hmm. or VP8 and WebM, um, you could just have it in the tab and play it that way. That's really and cool. And then just cast the tab. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Cabbybot tweets at Veronica at TechZilla. How to use Pound Chromecast in a hotel with a wireless proxy web login page. No one seems to know if or how that would work. Count me in that crowd. Um, you're probably going to have trouble with that one. Well, it's funny because you would have to launch the... Wow, that would be a wicked ripping pain. Right. The, the Chrome key has its own Wi-Fi network, mm -hmm. and then you connect to that to tell it how to connect. Um, but if there's some sort of barrier that requires authentication before you log right. in, I don't think you're going to be able to do it. At least now, currently. Because what you point out, this is, yeah. this is, this is like 1.0 you know, firmware right. and software inside right. of this. This is the very first release. And usually, there should be iterations fairly quickly. That I, I think yeah. there was one major iteration already, somebody said, over the weekend. Um, oh. Good question. I don't know. <laughs> Daniel tweets at Veronica at Techzilla. Yes, pick me, pick me. Um, when's it out in other regions like the United Kingdom? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm on, later. Sure. Probably much later now that they've sold out like everyone they can build. Yeah, I know. The, I think the Netflix subscription um, was also very popular and that disappeared soon yeah. after. So. Well, they're basically like, it was a limited offer and we, and we sold all of those. Right. Well, it was kind of funny because it was like you know, $35 minus $24 worth of Netflix, which is, again, that is gone now. So it was yeah. essentially an $11 Netflix streaming device. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much for your time, sir. Sure. Any, any tips me. or tricks for handling the Chromecast? Anything you found that that's that might people might not be so obvious, or, uh, or does it just work? It's, it's really straightforward. It works right out of the box. It's just yeah. it streams video from your browser, right, or your app, or our app, <laughs> or our app. Download our app, people. What's it called? Revision three. Oh, that's pretty easy. So, go, yeah, go, go to the Google Play Store, search for Revision three. Go to the Apple Store, search for Revision three. Download it, run it, please pull. Evan, thank you again so sure. much. Entrepreneurs and innovators are all turning ideas into realities online, backed by the strength of a .NET domain name. .NET is one of the world's most popular domain extensions, and a .NET domain name from domain.com will inject your business with instant credibility. Entrepreneurs and innovators will immediately discover the advantages of building their web presence around a .NET domain name. Already have a .com? Purchase the corresponding .NET from domain.com and protect your online brand. Is the .com you want already taken? The .NET is a perfect alternative. We like Domain.com because they're affordable. .NET addresses are only $8.99 a year. They're also reliable and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com want to hook up our fans with an awesome offer. Get 20% off their already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code TECHZILLA at Domain.com's checkout. That's 20% and big time savings. And don't forget to use the coupon code TECHZILLA. And when you think domain names, think domain.com.